Yes, everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls. We are back with a brand new video looking at the latest transfer news and rumours. It's been a pretty hectic couple of days uh, for Walls in terms of matches and the transfer window as well. As always, let me know your thoughts on any of the stories that we talk about in today's video. The first one being Pablo Sarabia. He is now officially a Wolves player that was signed, sealed and delivered yesterday, just before the Liverpool game. Um, we've done already done an in-depth video on him and on um, Mario Lamina as well. So if you want to check those out after this video, please feel free to do so uh, there. So a nice big signing for Wolves. And another player Wolves were hoping to get over the line fairly soonish was uh, the Brazilian uh, Flamengo midfielder, João Gomes. Now, I spoke about this on our last transfer video and it seemed like a, a done thing, but things have taken all sorts of twists and turns in the last 24 hours or so. And I'd imagine within the next sort of 24 hours or so, it will change again. Um, so like I said last week, João Gomez, it was pretty much an agreed thing. And it was just a case of Gomez flying across to England, doing the final medical tests and, and signing the contract officially as a Wolves player. A deal was agreed um, for in and around 17 million euros altogether. Um, and there were even some sources across the weekend saying that Gomez had flown out to England to, to complete the test early this week. But then it was reported uh, on Monday that he was still in Brazil. Things hadn't moved. And then yesterday we had the news that the reason he hasn't left yet is because Flamengo are now negotiating with French club Lyon. Now, it's said that Leon's offer is slightly better than the offer that Wolves put forward in the fact that it's a little bit more money and it's slightly better payment terms for Flamengo. However, João Gomez wants to stick to his word. Apparently, he had an agreement in principle with Wolves and he wants to honour that. And of course, he wants to play in the Premier League as well. Um, I believe the offers from Wolves are around €17 million Euros across a five-year five instalment. Uh, Leon have offered about 18 million euros. Not sure on the instalments of that, but I'd assume it's slightly better terms. Um, and 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 Leon have even got a representative over in Rio de Janeiro, negotiating direct, directly with Flamengo and trying to uh, convince the player to join the club. So at the moment, Wolves aren't in a fantastic position in regards to this transfer. Um, obviously, the only saving grace at the moment is that it sounds like João Gomez wants to play for Wolves and wants to come to the Premier League. But at the end of the day, it's going to be down to Flamengo and probably down to his agent to, to try and sort something out. Uh, but hopefully Wolves can make it easier for themselves and just up the offer. Uh, I know it's easier said than done, but I think he's made it pretty obvious. João Gomez put out a pretty crypt cryptic uh, tweet out on Twitter yesterday. Um, with a thinking emoji. He's even followed Wolves and even players such as Nathan Collins on Instagram as well. So I think he's made his intentions pretty clear. Um, but a situation that is really, really strange and probably one that Wolves weren't expecting to, to be in. Um, but yeah, Flamengo obviously looking at slightly more money. So it'll be interesting to see if Wolves do up their offer. Um, moving on, another player that Wolves have looked at and courted for a long time is Felipe, the Atletico Madrid centre-back. Um, it had gone a little bit quiet on this one. Again, there was some sort of disagreement between Wolves and the players' representatives in regards to contract length. Um, it's been reported in Brazil today that Wolves' uh, boss, Yulan Lopetegui, has actually called uh, the defender to try and convince him to join Wolves. So we'll see if anything changes on that front. Uh, Atletico Madrid, I think, are trying to get Soyuncu in from Leicester. Uh, but obviously, that's when or if Felipe does leave. So I'm, I'm assuming Felipe will go. Uh, this window. Wolves are linked with him. I think Everton have been uh, linked with him. Into Miami as well if he wanted to go over to America. Uh, but Felipe at the moment still very much, it sounds like, on the radar of Wolves. Talking about America as well, Conor Ronan uh, today has been linked with a move away, but it's pretty clear now that he's going to be leaving the club on a permanent basis and he's going to be joining MLS club Colorado Rapids. Uh, it's a club that former Wolves player Jack Price currently captains. Um, and of course, I think this is a good move for Conor Ronan. He's a talented footballer, but I think he's been unfortunate uh, in sort of the timing of his progression through the Wolves team um, in regards to managers and play styles. It's just not really suited him as a player. But I think elsewhere, I think the MLS is a fantastic place for him to go. And I, we do wish him all the best. But that one looks like a pretty done deal now. Uh, so Conor Ronan across to Colorado Rapids. 
Um, we took, spoke a little bit about Craig Dawson and Mikel Antonio as well on the last transfer video. There's a little bit of news on both of those. Now, before the West Ham game uh, last weekend, uh, David Moyes said that Craig Dawson was not going to play. And that was because Wolves had put a bid in for Craig Dawson. Now, David Moyes hadn't commented whether they'd accepted or rejected the bid. Um, but obviously, it looks like a deal is, is possibly going to be done. Craig Dawson... He said towards to leave West Ham to move a little bit closer to his family who live towards Manchester. Uh, so obviously the Midlands is a lot closer to that. But we'll have to wait and see. It sounds like it should be a pretty straightforward deal to get done. But of course West Ham once again might want to get a replacement through the door. Um, Mikel Antonio is reported today in The Athletic that Walls and Everton have reportedly inquired about taking him on loan this month. Chelsea are another club that apparently have taken a had a look into his availability as well. Now West Ham are open to selling Mikel Antonio. Um, they are looking at different forward options as well to bring in as a replacement. But the player isn't trying to force a move or exit. I think he's satisfied where he is, but obviously will still be keen to look at other options as well. I think the Antonio Dawson deals may well take towards the latter stages of the window. So let's see. We're into the last couple of weeks now of the window, just into the last two weeks. So let's see what happens on the, that front. Now talking about a forward, a forward that is actually on Wolves' books, uh, but he's out on loan at the moment. It's Fabio Silva. You can see him just on my T-shirt there as well. But Fabio Silva is currently out on loan at Anderlecht. They are not having a great season, but Fabio Silva still done okay. A decent amount of goal contributions for him. Um, now, it was reported by the Express and Star that a number of top clubs around Europe had inquired um, about Fabio Silva's availability for the second half of the season. Then it was uh, followed up by a Belgian journalist uh, yesterday afternoon that uh, the Dutch side PSV Eindhoven are one of the clubs most interested in the forward. Um, now, it's not believed that Wolves have a recall clause, uh, but whoever wants to take um, Fabio Silva would have to pay some sort of compensation fee to Anderlecht. And of course, if Wolves give them the green light, Fabio Silva will be able to move clubs uh, this month, hopefully for somewhere of a possibly slightly better standard and the team may be performing a little bit better right now as well. But Fabio Silva... Uh, I know a lot of people will be saying, why can't we get him back at Wolves? It'll be interesting, of course, uh, to see if that would be the case. But I think he needs constant game time between now and the end of the season. Because if he's back at Wolves, you can just see him being rotated again. And probably not going to get uh, much game time uh, or as much game time as he needs or deserves. Another player that could be set to be leaving Wolves is Gonzalo Gedge. Um, again, there's been... It's been surprising that he's been omitted from the last two match day squads. Wasn't in the squad for the game against uh, West Ham United and wasn't in the game uh, squad for the game against Liverpool in the FA Cup either. So it looks pretty obvious that he's set to leave the club now. It's <laughs> he'd only joined in the summer and things just haven't gone to plan for him. And obviously Yulan Lopetegui is not a fan of him either. Uh, apparently he's pushed his uh, pushed his agent George Mendes to try and get him a move back to Valencia, which is who Wolves had signed him from. Uh, but there's also been reports that Real Betis or another Spanish club that have had an interest in him. So I think Spain looks the most favourable destination for him right now, but it's just a case of will there be a club or a team that has the money to pay Wolves uh, for Gonzalo Gedge. But I think um, a loan is probably most likely, but again, are the wages going to be covered? I think Wolves may have to take a hit on this one because for one reason or another, Gonzalo Gedge's move to Wolves just has not worked out. A player that uh, could possibly be a replacement for him was uh, Nicholas Jackson. He currently plays for Villarreal and it was said over the weekend by AS that uh, Wolves had reportedly uh, had a loan offer with an option to buy rejected by Villarreal. Um, the Spanish club apparently would only consider a permanent transfer and it's thought that Jackson, like I said, could be a replacement for Gonzalo Gage. But no other news as such on, on that one right now. Joe Hodge, who's been a, a much more permanent fixture in the wall side this season, um, is set to sign a new long-term contract at the club. Again, that, part of me thought possibly if, again, if Jao Gomez joins as well, uh, Hodge could go out on loan because we'd have a decent amount of central midfielders then, uh, which may well be the case. Wolves might want to get that one over the line and then tie Hodge down to a new deal before allowing him to go out on loan, possibly to a higher-end uh, championship side. But yeah, it looks like Joe Hodge will sign a new deal at Wolves eventually. Um, Ruben Neves as well, by 
the way, I thought it was fantastic against Liverpool in the FA Cup. Uh, but of course, a lot of teams are going to be aware of his contract situation. Um, got less than 18 months left on his deal now. A lot of us are hoping, the optimistic part of me is hoping that he will sign a new uh, deal at Wolves. Um, Liverpool have been linked with him um, and so have Newcastle United as well. A lot of people have laughed at the Newcastle United interest. Um, I don't think he would go to Newcastle personally, but... Um, they've got a serious project going on there at the moment. Doing very well in the league, got a serious amount of money. Um, they can attract big players, I think, especially if they're getting to Europe this year. So I, I wouldn't laugh that one off as such, but I still think Neves, I think he would, would go abroad. Uh, I think Barcelona is probably still the most likely destination for him as of right now. Um, and Danny Ings as well. He was a uh, linked a player linked to Wolves over the weekend as well. Um, Everton have already had a loan bid rejected for Danny Ings. Villa again would be open to letting him go, but only if it was a permanent deal. So that was uh, reported by the Mirror over the weekend. Still. Things like that, you know, when players are only live or play down the road, things can move quite quickly on that right now. So very, very early days on that report. Um, but yeah, let me know, if, guys, what your thoughts are. Will we see some more drama in the Jao Gomez saga? We'll wait and see, but be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all next time.